The 30-day grace period for panhandling is now over. Anyone caught asking for money in the road, standing in a median or in a public right-of-way in Duval County will be warned. If they don't stop, they could be fined or arrested. And as Jennifer Waugh explains, drivers who give money or anything else to panhandlers in the roadway could be fined too. They have become a common sight in Duval County. People asking for money at stoplights, standing on medians, on sidewalks, in public rights of way. Now anyone caught doing this could be fined or even arrested. So the first offense would be a warning. We would document that offense uh, and put it into a database that is kept. So if another officer approaches them the next day or, or a time later, then they can run that individual. If they've been warned once, they will get that second warning. And then that third infraction is where we can either warn them again or we can uh, cite them. That third offense could come with a fine of up to $100. And if the same person is caught a fourth time, they could be arrested. Jacksonville is considered the sixth worst city in the country for pedestrian deaths involving vehicles. The latest numbers from the Florida Department of Transportation show 48 pedestrians were hit and killed in 2021. 34 died in 2018. It's the reason why the city council passed the new ordinance last month. Part of the new law also states that drivers who are not legally parked, so idling at a traffic light, for example, are prohibited from having any kind of physical interaction with a pedestrian, which means if police see you passing money or anything else to someone standing outside the car, you're breaking the law. The city council says this new law does not mean people can't ask for money. They just can't do it in or along roadways for the safety of everyone. But at the end of the day, it's about safety. They're, they're causing a, uh, these the individuals cause a disturbance in the street. They're holding up traffic and, it, and we've worked several crashes involving them and then fatalities. So that's what we're working on, trying to minimize, make the street safer place to go. There is an exception to the law. Charitable organizations can solicit drivers for money in public rights of way, but they have to get a permit from the city's public works department. They'll have to show proof that they are a nonprofit organization and they can only apply for a permit twice a calendar year. No one under 18 years old can solicit money and if the group gets gets caught asking for money without a permit, they could be fined up to $250. Jennifer Waugh, Channel 4, The Local Station.